Hello, Karen here and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing some speaking practice today. We'll be practicing what the guy said in last week's video. So if you haven't watched that video, I suggest that you go watch that first so that you understand everything that we're going to be saying today. And I talk about the schwa sound again in today's video. So if you don't know what this sound is, then please watch this video too. I'll continue to talk about the schwa sound in future videos. So please watch this video if you don't know what this sound is. And then come back to this point in today's video. I'll put links to these two videos up here and I'll also put them down in the description box below. So you might have one or two videos to watch before this one. So go and watch those first and I'll see you back here shortly. And if you have watched last week's video, let's listen to him again to refresh our memories. We have kangaroos and koalas and uh, a lot of bird life and um, possums and that sort of thing. So we come across them quite a bit we have kangaroos and koalas. We have kangaroos and koalas. Kangaroo. This has three syllables. Kang, ga with the schwa sound, and ru. And the u sound is the same u in food. U. And the ru syllable is the stressed syllable. So this is the one that you say a little bit more loudly. The plural of kangaroo is kangaroos. So the S here sounds like a Z. And remember that this is Z in Australia, not Z. If the sound before the S, the plural S, is a vowel sound, then you pronounce the S like a Z. So we say kangaroos and we have a consonant sound and a vowel sound right next to each other here. So when spoken, these two words tend to be joined together to make one long word. So this becomes kangaroos and, but he doesn't say and, he changes and to an. So he changes the a sound to the schwa sound and he doesn't say the d sound at all so and becomes n and then he joins this with kangaroos to make one long word kangaroosen 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 koalas Koala. Like kangaroo, this has three syllables. K with the schwa sound, wa, open your mouth, wa, and l, again with the schwa sound. So there are two schwa sounds here. So which syllable is the stressed syllable? Wa. Now, your dictionary probably says koala. But in Australia, where koalas actually live, we don't really say the O sound because this takes too much effort to say koala. We shorten even this O sound to just the schwa sound, k, koala. And like kangaroos, the plural koalas has the Z sound at the end here. The sound before the plural S is a vowel sound, the schwa sound. So the plural S here sounds like a Z. Koalas. 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 We have kangaroos and 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 koalas. And the next part of his sentence was, 
and a lot of bird life. And a lot of bird life. He drops a few sounds here. Firstly, he changes and to an, like before, and he changes a to a, the schwa sound. And this actually happens almost all the time in spoken English, which is why you might not even hear it sometimes. And then he joins these two words to make one longer word, anna, which is still not very long. And then lot of. He joins these two words because there's a consonant sound and a vowel sound right next to each other. But he changes of to just the schwa sound. And the t sound in lotta actually sounds like it's somewhere between a d and a t. So it sounds more like lotta and a lot of bird life. 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 And the last part of that sentence was, and um, possums and that sort of thing. And um, possums and that sort of thing. Here, he does the same thing again. He changes and to an, and then he joins this with the um sound, the sound that people make when they're thinking about what they want to say next. So this becomes an um, possums and that sort of thing. Possums, like kangaroos and koalas, the plural S here sounds like a Z. If the sound before the plural S is a voiced sound, then the S actually sounds like a Z. Z. A voiced sound is when you can feel your throat vibrate when you make the sound. You can feel the difference when you say t and d, s and z. So this is possums. And again, we have a consonant sound and a vowel sound right next to each other. So he says this as one long word. And again, he changes and to n. I don't think he ever says and. And when he says that, he stops himself just before he makes the t sound. When you make the t sound, air comes out of your mouth. You can feel it if you place your hand just in front of your mouth. T, t. But he stops himself just before the air comes out of his mouth. So it becomes that, that, that. Now, sort of. There's a consonant sound and a vowel sound right next to each other again. So he says this as one long word. And he shortens of to just the schwa sound. So instead of sort of or sort of, he just says sorta, and this is very common and you'll hear this very often. And the t sound here, again, sounds like it's somewhere between a d and a t. And this usually happens when the sound after the t is the schwa sound. So like earlier in this video, we had lot of, and this changed to a lotta and a uh, lot of bird life. So this all becomes an um, possums and that sort of thing. And 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 his last sentence, so we come across them quite a bit. So we come across them quite a bit. We have a lot of consonant sounds and vowel sounds right next to each other here. And them changes to um with the schwa sound. And we talked about this in this video, if you remember. So this becomes 
come across them. Come across them. Come across them. Quite a bit. The A here changes to the schwa sound. And because the previous word quite ends with the T sound, a consonant sound, these two words tend to be joined together. And again, like I mentioned earlier, we have a T followed by the schwa sound. So the T sound here changes to somewhere between a D and a T. So this becomes quieter, quieter, quieter. And the T sound in bit, again, he stops himself just before he makes the T sound. Bit. So this whole sentence becomes, so we come across them quite a bit. 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 Let's say the whole thing a few times together now. I'll say it once at a slightly slower speed and then I'll say it again at a more natural speed. And then after that, I'd like you to say it a few more times with him at the slightly slower speed. We have kangaroos and koalas and a lot of bird life and um, possums and that sort of thing. So we come across them quite a bit. We have kangaroos and koalas and a lot of bird life and um, possums and that sort of thing. So we come across them quite a bit. We have kangaroos and koalas and uh, a lot of bird life and um, possums and that sort of thing. So we come across them quite a bit. We have kangaroos and koalas and uh, a lot of bird life and um, possums and that sort of thing. So we come across them quite a bit. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. It helps to let me know that you like these speaking practice videos so then I can make more of them for you. Thank you for watching today. Keep practicing, stay safe out there, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.